Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome again to Learn Data with Pranjal. In today's video, I am going to tell you various ways in which we can use a print input and eval statement. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. If this is your first visit to this channel, please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my knowledge videos on the data science. So let's start on our coding portion. Print ways in which I can use print in which print can be used. Use so I assign a variable a equal to 10 and I just say a so it gives me the value 10. I can say print a also so it will print me the a. So I assign another variable b as 20 and Print can also be used as print a comma b. So it gives you value 10 comma 20. I can also use print like this print value of a is comma a. So it will say value of a whatever is in the string within the within our double quotes or I can also use my single quote. So here the double quote and single quote do not matter much still so still I'll get the same answer value of a is 10 <clears throat> another way is if I say print a plus b so it gives me 30 so why 30 it is adding a and b and giving me the final answer okay. but if you say print or uh, print a plus b it gives a b so now since we are passing a in the quotes the value of a is not passed but your a itself is passed so whatever is inside the quote is directly passed print a colon b a, a plus b it will give you so basically it's just concatenating your a and Another way in which I can use my print statement is my dot format. So it's a very powerful technique when you want to pass number of values. First of all, let's create a variables which I will use in my dot format printing. So I create a some name. So I'm creating a variable Bob. Uh, no, no, let's say name is your Bob. So Bob is a, a person. Uh, and his age is some age so let's say the person bob is of 23 year age and i say print name of the person is name of the person is this and his age is this dot format name so I get the name of the person is Bob and his age is 23 so in this we can see there are two curly brackets one is over here and one is over here and I'm using my dot format since there were two brackets in dot format I have passed two values so and it's one to one mapping so name value name is passed in this in the first curly bracket and your age is passed in your second curly bracket if I had used three curly bracket and let's say name and salary equal to 100 His age is this and his salary is whatever so instead of directly passing a number I can also pass a number or I can pass a this so name of a person is Bob his age, his age is 23 and his salary is 100 but if you change so uh, I want to show you that it's one to one mapping so instead of name if you give salary 
and instead of salary if you give again name so the things will change it will not give an error but the things would change because it's one to one mapping so salary is coming first so it will map to your first goal first bracket age is coming second so it will move to your second bracket and similarly your name it will move to your third bracket so remember one thing it's one to one mapping now let's use our input statement input statement is used to take the value from your user so user can give the value input please enter the value you want to pass and i say value one so when i run this i'll get a i get a dialog box in where i can enter the value so i enter the value something now this value i have entered 100 so this 100 gets stored in my this as a print value 1 and i can see this let's again do one thing please enter a value you want to pass but pass a please enter the enter the name of the person person and i'll change this thing name enter the name and i say tom when i check the variable i can see the name tom but there is one thing uh, let me check the type type of my value one And it says str actually if you see the value is 100 the value i have entered was 100 but it's showing me str so what's the problem it's giving the problem is now i cannot perform any mathematical operation on it for example i cannot say that value 1 plus 10 it gives me an error it gives me an error because though i have passed 100 but input always stores the variable in string format so remember this thing in mind input will always store the variable in string format so though i have entered 100 it's storing as your string so i cannot do any mathematical operation on it to overcome this problem what i'll do is i'll use my eval statement eval input enter the value you want to pass it enters and I enter some number 2000 now when I check value 2 I can see that it's 2000 and if I run the type function on it I can see it's integer and so this brings to the end of our video before we end i would like to remind you uh, to subscribe to click on the subscribe and like button so that you do not miss my any of the videos which i am which i would be posting later on thank you have a nice day